Okie doke. Hello, lovely ladies and gents of the internet. If you're watching this right now, you're watching Think Fits, Fit Thinking Sit Down podcast interview thing that we've been doing. Today I have the lovely Bianca Balajan. Is that how we say your last name? Balajan. Balajan. I was saying Balajan the first few times I met her. But Bianca here, she's had some cool results. She's been a Think Fit member for a while. She's been super committed and persistent. So uh, Bianca, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to have you. Always. I get excited when I see you rock up to our classes. Now, I have a few questions for you. There's no like real right or wrong answers, but we just love to know things such as, like, so how big of a role has nutrition and exercise played in your life? Or what sort of role has nutrition and exercise played? Absolutely huge role. So before I started Think Fit, I had joined other gyms. Mm -hmm. um, Let's say the result was not even 10% uh -huh. close that, than what, I, what it is here. Mm -hmm. um, I suffer with chronic conditions, about three of them. Yeah. Um, sleep apnea, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, multiple things. Um, started with Think Fit in March, and three months later, my blood results went from high blood sugar, uh, cholesterol, went to normal range. That's so just from amazing. So what do you think made this time different to like the other health attempts that you've had? I, I think the community mainly. Yeah. The community that we have here, the people, um, you feel extremely welcome. You feel, you feel like, like you said, there's no right and wrong in what mm. you're doing. Everything is right. Any type of help you need, you get mm. it here. And I think that's what makes me come every single day. Yeah. I love to hear, it's very nice to hear that's how you think about Think Fit and the team. So that sort of environment is what kept you coming back and then that consistency yep. is what led to those sorts of results. Also, I think also the, everything kept it, um, it's been different. Mm -hmm. So you don't get bored. It's not a constant like same exercise. It's always interesting. It's kept fresh. Yes, yes. And it's kind of like fed to us in a way where we just go in, we leave it up to the coaches and their expert programming to kind of tell us what to do and then, not that I program, I actually just teach it and then you guys do it. But awesome, so that's lovely to know. So one of the other questions I got for you, I was gonna ask, was this one of the first time that you've tried to make changes, but we know that it hasn't. Mm, it wasn't, because no. you've had those previous times. This is times. the first one that's actually successful. <laughs> yeah, what do you think makes this time so real? How do you know that this time is different and that this time it's more lifestyle changes that are going to stay with you longer? I think obviously the age, Mm -hmm. the goals that I have mm -hmm. for the future. Um, my main goal at this stage is to be healthier and become a mum in the future. Yeah. Um, and like I said, just achieving these small little goals in such a short term here, yeah. it just makes me look further at the bigger ones uh -huh. again here with the help of Think Fit and Beautiful. you guys. So you've definitely achieved some awesome stuff yeah. already. What sort of like changes have you seen in your mind or in your thinking? Maybe you've had like a bit of resilience training and stuff that used to bug you, maybe doesn't anymore. I don't know if you ever were an anxious type person or- a Oh, extremely anxious. Yeah? Yes, extremely okay. anxious. Has, how has training helped that part of your life? Um, obviously it improved. Yes. Uh, my anxiety level went down. Mm -hmm. I actually stopped some medication hey. that I was on. That's awesome. Um, I don't know, everything just seems so positive. You mm -hmm. don't have time to concentrate on anything negative. Mm -hmm. you just Everything is just, I don't know how to describe it. There's, there's lots of benefits, but that's definitely one of the big ones. Now you said that you want to be a mum in the future. I know you'd be a fantastic mum. Thank you. So with that, what's a piece of information or knowledge like health related or otherwise that you would want your son or daughter to grow up knowing and embodying? Uh, best thing in life is to, to be, you know, eat healthy and, and stay healthy continue to move, mm -hmm. not just do what I used to do before, just laze around or on the what couch. I used to do, or, or I think... A lot of others, yeah, I'm sure. Like most um, of us, guys, like health really is wealth. How can we enjoy our families, our money, our friends, our experiences without the health to actually enjoy it? So, great answer. Very nice. Here's an easy one, or maybe not so easy. Favourite healthy food. We're always looking for like 
new yummy healthy things? My favorite thing to eat is grilled salmon. Grilled salmon, I isn't that good stuff? Love it. High quality fats, it's yummy. What would you say to your old self who was back in the day, whenever it was, who just needed a bit of support and love? What was the right thing to say to Bianca back then? Just keep the chin up and keep trying, keep mm -hmm. trying because I'm sure there's gonna be someone and the right place and the right people that can surround mm -hmm. you with help and positive attitude and mm -hmm. just... Beautiful, I love it. And I hope you feel like you found that here. Oh, definitely did. What movements do you think you've seen the most gains in? For some people it's the squat, for some people Hindu or something like that. What's a movement that you kind of sucked at at the beginning? Push-ups. Like, Push-ups, yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Push that upper body strength is yeah. coming, yeah. Phenomenal stuff. For anyone who's kind of on the fence, who's thinking about, oh, should I do, should I join a gym? Should I get into health? What would your advice be to someone like Absolutely that? Absolutely, do it. I remember my first day, Josh said, after the first 10, 15 minutes of the class, I was crying mm. inside and I said, I can't do this. Yeah. And Josh, Josh kind of looked at me and said, just give me the first, first month. Yep. And after two days, I was, I was perfectly fine. And it came good? Wow. So definitely, don't say no, try. Just try. One day at a time and it's going to be better. That's it, guys. Try it. You deserve to feel what it feels like. Because the truth is, it's actually so enjoyable once you get stuck into it. Yes, there's challenges and it can be a little bit uncomfortable to train, but hey, life has challenges and sometimes life's a little bit uncomfortable, mm -hmm. uncomfortable and it prepares us for life. I think we'll wrap up there. Bianca, you're awesome. We love Thank having you. you here. All the coaches love you. We talk about you up here. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.